Russian forces show no signs of letting up their campaign of devastation across Ukraine. And that means business people like the Nedoshkivsky family, who own and operate an architecture and design business, have had to retool. With the full-scale assault on February 24th, orders for remodeling and new construction disappeared overnight. Business is an entire life for us. We have been engaged in construction and design for 20 years. It is an integral part of our life. Therefore, there was a feeling that everything was ruined at once. It was very scary. Their son, Yehor, started a volunteering mission with his friend a few weeks into the war. He then came up with an idea to keep the family business going while helping his nation. This is how the Relocation UA project was created. The team then went to work, designing and building modular homes for Ukraine's rapidly growing number of internally displaced people. Why modular houses? They are quick to make and transport. At the moment, some areas in Ukraine are occupied and some are under active shelling and hostilities. This technology allows us to build a modular settlement and then, for example, disassemble and transport these houses where needed. This settlement, the first that relocation UA is building, is located in the village of Buznitsa, a picturesque area of western Ukraine. The project, funded by foreign investors, aims to relocate more than 100 families. Halina and her daughter Alona were among the first to find their new home here. They evacuated from the heavily shelled city of Orihiv in the Zaporizhia region after their house was destroyed. Alona's father, a soldier, was killed in a battle near Izum last May. My ex-husband died in the war. It was announced that houses were to be given to the families of soldiers or those who died in the war. Therefore, we contacted the foundation and they told us that we would get this house. It's very calm here. We feel safe here. The goal is to provide new homes for people in the short term. Priority is given to the families of fallen soldiers and those currently fighting at the front line. I want to do something so that when my daughter asks, she won't remember the war, of course, I hope she won't, but when she is asked, she can say that her dad did something useful. Apart from devastation, the work has also given a start to many new ventures. Finding new meaning and reaffirming their values, Ukrainian business owners, like the Nedoshkivsky family, carry on. Anna Chernikova for VOA News, Kyiv.